Hi, my name is Ben, and I'm the co-founder here at Send, where we take complex terms such as bankruptcy and debt relief and really make them understandable in human language. One of the most common questions I receive is, how much debt do I need to file bankruptcy? And the answer is quite a bit more complicated than it may seem, so stay tuned to find out just how we would look at that question. Welcome to Ascend Finance's YouTube channel where we take complex debt challenges and questions and, and try to break them down into simple terms. Today we're going to talk about how much debt do you actually need to file bankruptcy with. Now, filing bankruptcy relief can be a confusing decision, especially if your debts are relatively low. Many people wonder if they have enough debt to file bankruptcy. Is $5,000 too little of a debt to file bankruptcy? Is $25,000 too little to debt to file bankruptcy? These are both important questions. This video will cover different types of debt and how you can kind of think about bankruptcy and debt and which ones can be discharged, which ones can be forgiven and how long it will take and the cost to get rid of your debt. Now, we built a chapter uh, seven bankruptcy calculator and we included a link in the description below and that will kind of walk through the cost of bankruptcy and actually even whether you qualify for bankruptcy because those are two important questions that you may consider even before you go down this path. So let's first cover the types of debt that you have. There are four types of common debts to consider. One is unsecured debt, which is credit cards, personal loans, medical debt. The second is secured debt, such as automobile or home. It's secured asset to something. So if you don't make a payment on your car, you could lose it. If you don't make a payment on your house, you could lose it. Then there's like IRS tax debt, income debt, and all these other debts that are kind of aligned with this like tax debt. And then there's like student loan debt. It's like an unsecured debt, but you can't really get them discharged in bankruptcy in very many cases. So just something to consider. And one of the questions about the debt amount is whether you can afford the debt or not. If you're able to continue making the payments on the debt, you could try different debt relief options such as debt settlement, and um, or debt payoff planning um, to help you put, pay down the debt. If you aren't able to afford the debt, the question then really becomes, well, how much debt will you actually be discharged or relieved in a chapter seven bankruptcy? And I use chapter seven bankruptcy just because that's the more common of the two bankruptcy options and it gives you faster debt relief. And it's also quite a bit less expensive than chapter 13 bankruptcy. So let's say you have $5,000 in debts and you can pay it within two years by yourself through debt payoff planning. You may consider doing something like a debt payoff plan or something to that extent, but let's say you have $500,000 of unsecured debt and will never be able to pay it off. And that debt would be discharged in a bankruptcy. Then that might be an option where you consider something like a chapter seven or chapter 13 or debt settlement, debt management. These options ends up being maybe if you have a lot more debt than, than another option. So let's go through the question. How much debt is enough debt to file bankruptcy? Unfortunately, the, the it really depends. There's not a specific amount that is, you need to have this amount of debt, but it really is something that you should consider. We'll ask some questions to see, that you can consider. Is like, if you owe $5,000 in credit card debt, you may be able to file bankruptcy relief, but you may be paying $2,000 in bankruptcy attorney fees to get rid of $5,000 in unsecured debt. So in that situation, you just have to determine whether it's best for you. Now, let's say, for example, if you earn too much income to meet the income requirements for a chapter seven case, and you have $10,000, in, in debt that you're trying to get through. Now, a chapter 13 bankruptcy repayment plan, and if you retain an attorney, you may have to pay $3,500 in attorney and, and you know filing fees up to $6,000 in attorney and filing fees, not including the trustee fees, that could be thousands of dollars. And so the question is like, really, how much are you actually incurring in, in cost to, to relieve yourself of the $10,000 in debt? And that's an important question to ask when you're kind of thinking about how much debt is too much or too little debt to file bankruptcy. On the other hand, let's say you meet the income requirements for a chapter seven bankruptcy and you are able to qualify and you don't have many assets such as a home or a vehicle that has equity that is above the exemption and you can file bankruptcy without an attorney that could get rid of like 10, 15, $20,000 worth of debt. In this case, you may consider bankruptcy as an option. Definitely consider bankruptcy as an option. It's really your decision and we're not a lawyer so we can't provide any legal advice, but we do really want you to be able to kind of search through and kind of understand how it works and and you know, what questions that you can ask yourself to make sense in your situation. Another thing to consider about you know, bankruptcy and filing is that you can only file a chapter seven every eight years. So let's say you file and then, you, then something happens in life and someone loses a job or there's a disability or something, you would not be able to actually use that chapter seven bankruptcy debt forgiveness for another eight years from your filing date. So it's just something to consider when you're thinking about filing bankruptcy or chapter seven bankruptcy is, are you gonna need this at some other point in time? And 
you know, is it going to be more helpful then or more helpful now? Just really something to consider. Obviously, there are many factors to consider when you decide whether to file bankruptcy, but make sure that you kind of understand those things, you know, in relation to your specific situation. So let's cover some of the most important kind of decision points that you can think about filing bankruptcy. So with all that to being said, should you file bankruptcy? That is ultimately your decision and your unique situation is unique specifically to you. We built the chapter seven bankruptcy calculator that'll help you kind of estimate whether you qualify and the general cost based on your specific city to kind of give you a sense of what that would look like for your situation. And hopefully that gives you more information to make help you make the most informed decision. Because our goal here at Ascend is really to help make debt freedom cheaper, easier, and faster. And so we really hope that these resources can really help you in just understanding your options. If you like this video, I definitely would appreciate a like because we really like making these videos for you and, and it kind of helps stay encouraged and motivated. And if you want other videos about bankruptcy or debt relief or any of those other things, I definitely encourage you to subscribe because we, we make a lot of consistent videos to help you kind of weigh different options. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time and hope you have a great day.